I'm Ricardo Piatti. You listen to me in Fusion Tennis Podcast. Welcome to the Fox Tennis Podcast, the YouTube version. I'm your host, Fabio Molle, and every week I speak to people working at the highest level of tennis, from coaches to players to trainers and much more. Today, I'm very fortunate to speak to much the well-respected tour coach, Ricardo Piatti, and center owner. He's worked with so many great players. More recently, it's been Yannick Sinner. He worked with Novak Djokovic in the past. He had a great role with Ivan Lubitschik, getting him to number three in the world. He worked with uh, Richard Gasquet, Maria Sharapova, and many more players. He also has a great range of junior players at his training center. There's the Grants and many more. I've seen them play. They are awesome. So it's great to get him on Zoom, have a chat, find out about how he started in tennis, his coaching journey, also to find out about how the Piatti training method and model works, about his centre, about how he thinks as a coach. It was really interesting and he was such a nice guy and I actually can't wait to go over to the Piatti centre myself to meet him in person. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy the episode. Before we get started... Just want to say, if you like this episode, head over to functionstennis.com forward slash podcast to check out other great episodes we've had with coaches and center owners. And also the Function Tennis Sabre is back on pre-order now. The second batch will be arriving in mid to late October and we're actually going to be shipping them, sorry, from the October the 21st out to customer. So you can pre-order now. The batch will probably more than likely sell out. So uh, get over there if you're interested in the Sabre. But let's get to the, the main topic today, our chat with Ricardo. Hope you enjoy it. Hi, Ricardo. Welcome to the Function Tennis Podcast. How are you? I'm very well. Good. I'm... Uh... I'm quite ready for uh, your interview. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, hopefully, I'm not disturbing. You're not on vacation, are you? I'm um, I'm uh, in Como now for um, there is some kids that play Challenger, but uh, in the end of the week, I'm going in Barcelona because uh, I'm working uh, for uh, Real Club de Barcelona, and I'm uh, Real Club de Barcelona invite me because I make a symposium or a speech for coaches from Spanish coaches. And I'm very excited because um, when I was young, I, one of my goal was to understand the Spanish game. And uh, I, I, I travel a lot in Spain and I had a lot of uh, friends uh, that coach an important player. And now, and this, and then they invite me, and so I'm very excited uh, to speak uh, about uh, my method, uh, my, my my way in which way I see tennis. Nice. Okay. I, 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 we're going to get onto your method later. I did see one of your presentations at the IMG Future Stars, which I thought was great, and how much video means to you. So we're going to touch on that in a while. But firstly. I, as I was saying to you just before this, I spoke to a lot of people this week, said, oh, I'm going to have Ricardo on the podcast. They're like, that's amazing. That's amazing. But they said, was he a coach? How did he, Was he a player? How did he get into coaching? So uh, uh, my, my story is like this. It's very easy. Uh, I'm come from Como. My, my father had a factory, big factory, and my mother was a teacher. And they were thinking that they becoming a lawyer or uh, becoming a... Uh, I don't know, work in a factory. And uh, in the end, uh, I was playing tennis. Uh, but during that time, I was not thinking to become a pro because I was 16, 50 in Italy. Um, and uh, and uh, what I decided, uh, one okay, one day, a friend of mine was coach. And I was coach quite good, you know. I was, uh, I like to play. I like to enjoy in a game, uh, to fight. But, idea was not to become a player. And one day, a friend of mine, uh, he had a problem and uh, was a coach. And so I started to teach to, uh, to, um, to young kids. And I understand that uh, I didn't know that game that I love so much. And then start my problem. Uh, here was living, uh, now he passed away, a friend of mine, Gianni Clerici, one of the bigger uh, writer about tennis with Bud Collins in the world. And uh, so I started to speak with him and I say, you know, I want to understand this game. 
And uh, he told me, okay, you need to go in the state or in French. And then I, I came uh, in Boletieri Academy for work a while. And then Italian Federation. And then I, I'm going uh, first uh, in, uh, in Rome because there is uh, one uh, important, uh, uh, was uh, one important school about becoming coaches. And, uh, and then I stay, stayed there for uh, one year. And then uh, Italian Federation, in the same time that I decided to go to Belletieri, uh, asked me to come in back. So I decided in the summer to go in the state to work. Uh, and then in October, I start to work uh, in that school. So I work, I work uh, with the director to help to, um, to, to grow in new coaches. But the problem that I have, uh, was uh, my principal goal was to understand the game. I was not thinking uh, to make a lesson with um, normal people, young kids. Uh, no, I was focused about me to understand the game. And every year that passed, uh, I had more problem because I understand that I, I don't know nothing about the, this game. Because more information you have, more I was a little bit confused. I was 22, 23 years old. And so I decided, okay, to understand this game, I need to work a lot. And, and I start to work a lot. I travel a lot. For one year, I was a vice director in that school. Then Italian Federation want me for uh, young kids. Uh, and I stay in Italian uh, uh, center. Uh, for four years, well, for with first my group was uh, Karate, Furlan, Mordegan, and Brandy. And this guy, uh, they gave me, they had uh, 13, 14 years old, and uh, and was the first my group. And I always I joke with them that I say it was the best result that I had because uh, before to met, uh, I never see them. And in the end of a career, Karate was 26 uh, ATP in single. Uh, Furlan was uh, 19 ATP single ranking. And Morden and Brandy was top 50 in double. So uh, big result because uh, start uh, with this guy uh, under 14 and the end uh, becoming pro. And for me, it was great uh, success, especially because uh, I was thinking that I didn't know tennis. <laughs> <laughs> and then start again the problem, because uh, I think uh, the first goal that I had, uh, this team was uh, thinking uh, becoming just pro. Uh, and pro is mean for me top, top 100. Uh, I stay with uh, Fulan 17 years. Uh, with Brandy the same, Karate, I stopped when he had uh, 27 years old, uh, and Mordigan stopped to play tennis when he had uh, 25. Then starts the second problem that I had, because I say, okay, maybe I'm quite good about uh, teach uh, to becoming pro. Now I want uh, uh, top 10. And that uh, uh, I approach uh, Ivan Ljubicic or, or Ivan Ljubicic came to me when he was 14 years old because he left from uh, uh, from the war. And then uh, what I did, uh, I started with him when he was 17 years old, and I see this guy uh, can be a very good player because he has great serve, is smart on the court, uh, great backhand. So I start to work uh, with that goal. And the end, uh, even uh, became uh, three in in, uh, in the world, and then I, I take confidence uh, that uh, I know this game. I start to know this game, you know, because uh, uh, the principal goal is to understand the goal, the, the tennis. It was not uh, to uh, build or to growing the the player. And uh, okay, and then. Uh, I started with Gasquet, then with Raonic, with Choric, uh, I had uh, Sharapova, with Djokovic, uh, and many of them. Okay, and now I'm uh, 63 years old, uh, and uh, I think uh, already 
15 years ago or 20 years ago, I started to thinking, I, okay, now I know a little better the game. I need to have one method to explain to the other one in which way I see tennis. Because uh, uh, it's funny for me. And then uh, a second thing, uh, if I play about you or about the other, in which way I see the tennis, uh, uh, also, I have a possibility to communicate with the other people and take experience for the other people. Because, uh, of course, uh, you need to have a method. But the end, uh, for, uh, for working uh, with top player, you need to have uh, experience. And that one, you cannot uh, uh, buy, you cannot uh, take experience from the other one. You need to do uh, your experience. So experience means... Uh, uh, everything. Uh, when we have a trouble, uh, when we, you need to speak with the parents, when we need to speak with the manager, when you speak, uh, you need to speak with the player to explain uh, every year are different, uh, every tournament are different. This kind of thing uh, you need, you know, to uh, to to buy. You need you need to do. That was uh, my that is my philosophy in this moment. And oh, when did you decide then, okay, I need to open up uh, my own place? When did the Piatti Center come about? Uh, this is another another problem was because uh, uh, 10 years ago, a friend of mine, uh, Stefan, uh, um, Stefan yeah, Goaglen, that is working with me now in a center, proposed me uh, to, to build uh, close to Monte Carlo indoor core with some uh, investor. And I say, okay, I have the land. I find the land close to Bordighera. And the end, uh, this, um, uh, that, that people left. But uh, put in my mind that, that I need to have uh, one uh, base, my, I call my, one my, ha my house, uh, to working with uh, the young player and uh, to working with the coach. That uh, was uh, because also before I was um, I was inviting a lot of young players and young coaches uh, to come in Monte Carlo to see in the, in, in the way that I was working with Ljubicic, uh, uh, with Casquet, with Diogo, with the, the, this guy. Because I'm very open. I'm not uh, I'm not care about uh, if uh, you know. I think. Uh, um, we we can we I can learn from everybody, especially uh, I think I can learn from young people, because young people okay uh, the older have experience but the young people have energy and young people many time uh, they do something different and you need to watch that's why my philosophy about tennis also. I was always looking the young player because I think in the young player uh, change tennis. That's why I'm very happy to come in Tatoi uh, in uh, MG event because uh, uh, you need to to see and watching okay the, uh, the young kids and uh, because it's the future and sure. Uh, 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 the player coming, they play better than uh, the oldest. Now, okay, we are uh, very surprised uh, about um, uh, Nadal, uh, Ra uh, Roger, and Rafa. But uh, if you're thinking about tennis, about uh, Lever, Roswell, uh, this kind of uh, player, and you're thinking that uh, for 10, 15 years, uh, they, need, they, not play, they had uh, no possibility to play with pro, you can you can thinking uh, maybe they already win so a lot of Grand Slam also that kind of player. Uh, you you remember that time, you know? Roswell cannot play for uh, uh, I think twelve or fourteen years uh, the pro and level the same because was becoming pro. So uh, if you the the, the, love, the my way. Uh, is uh, always uh, watching the younger. Which it's good. You don't see, you know, there wasn't that many 
coaches as qualified as you at that event. So I know there was Michael Chang was there and there's maybe one or two others, but it's great to see you like such you're on TV. I'd say, let's say working at the, t I'm not sure just before that with Yannick or uh, at back then. And then you're at this event. So that gives great encouragement to the other kids as well. And other people to see you at an event like that. And it just shows how maybe open-minded you are and willing to learn from these guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, uh, but uh, you know, if the problem that uh, if you work in tennis uh, and uh, you stay with a younger uh, player, you don't think in that uh, the time passes. So <laughs> I always, uh, I think always, I am the same age, and so I, and then that's with my way, and then. Yeah. Uh, uh, is uh, is quite easy for me uh, to communicate with uh, someone that uh, is interesting uh, to ask to listen to me. Yeah, no, definitely. And so th the center. What year did you officially open? I opened, I think, five years ago in October. And idea is uh, was um, open the center uh, to. Uh, I, I told you, to, uh, like my house, uh, to invite people uh, that uh, the young people want to become in pro and uh, coaching then uh, want to help uh, this kind of player to become in coach, uh, to becoming a good player. And uh, I had, uh, I have uh, four courts. When I start, uh, I had uh, five coaches and uh, two fitness trainers. We are around eight people. Now we are already the same courts, uh, the same uh, structure, but we have uh, 28 people working there. I, I, now I have uh, 17 coaches, uh, eight uh, fitness trainers, one osteopath, uh, one physio, uh, one, uh, two person uh, for um, mental, one from video, and then uh, the other people working in the office. So is uh, the goal that I have uh, is uh, quality there. And um, I had uh, two aspects. One is a method that I need uh, to explain in a court to the young people uh, or young player coming. And uh, one is a model. Model is mean uh, uh, the person working for the player all together they need to work all together so the fitness trainer the physio and the coach and the coaches they need to work for the player that uh, i did uh, i and uh, i doing uh, for uh, uh, top player i have my team that working for the player uh, and the same uh, approach uh, i want to give uh, in uh, piatti tennis center because uh, I like uh, work uh, with the other people. And uh, again, I, uh, I have a lot of experience, but uh, I don't know everything. And uh, I like uh, that my player see, uh, has an uh, open mind and uh, can have uh, you know, more information from everybody. Okay, maybe I, I give uh, the right, uh, I would say, uh, way you know i control the direction uh, yes direction but uh, uh, i like uh, that the people uh, uh, watching and uh, see maybe different things uh, that uh, i can maybe i cannot see that yeah and uh, and especially uh, uh, tennis player they need to have an open mind and they need to take experience from everybody uh, you know, uh, if you're coming good coach, uh, a good player, uh, you need to listen also the other player, all, all players. They give information. And uh, that's uh, what I want uh, from the kids uh, that uh, working uh, or uh, try to grow up there. Great. And a, a question, you've, you've answered this question, I'm sure, a million times. And I know people ask me, they say, you said four courts, 27 28 coaches or uh, sorry staff how does what are the maths behind that how do you make that work uh, in, in which way that uh, with the model in, 
No, well, not in the model. Somebody's going to say this academy in Monte Carlo has 50 courts. This co academy has 20 courts. You have four courts there. How do you make that work? No, no, is uh, they working uh, from uh, 8 o'clock in the morning uh, and they finish 8 o'clock uh, in the night. They working uh, 12 hours every day. Uh, 300, I think uh, the center is closed for three, four days in a year. Uh, is uh, always open, and because uh, every day you need to play tennis. But is <laughs> is there enough court? How do you manage it with only four courts? Uh, I I had, I don't I I don't want to have a lot of number there. I want to just put uh, the quality there, okay. Uh, and uh, let's see it. Uh, sure, uh, you know I not. Um, I don't. I don't think uh, I want to make uh, a lot of money from uh, uh, tennis center, Piatti tennis center. Um, is is if a problem of the money? I want to, you know, that uh, um, money in tennis. Is, if you're talking about money in tennis, money in tennis is coming uh, from different part, and uh, especially, you know, uh, if you. If you have opportunity, maybe to help uh, uh, young pl young uh, player uh, becoming good, uh, that is one opportunity. Or uh, if you work with a top player, another opportunity. Then uh, maybe you will find uh, some sponsor. That is a uh, different way. Of course, uh, also there they need to pay the the, the, play, the, the player coming. They pay. They have. Uh, um, um, one uh, the price uh, and then uh, there are courses uh, and of course uh, you try to survive about the money pro problem but and uh, I think and uh, it's good uh, it's good brand so I making uh, a lot of also uh, symposium or a stage outside to the Piatti Tennis Center uh, in Italy now, I start uh, also in the other country. Maybe in the end of the year, I want to be, uh, go in London. Yeah, I have uh, some uh, requests also, uh, especially outside uh, uh, Italy. And then, uh, but I need to be prepared to go in there and to do something good. That's his idea. Nice. And speaking of your symposiums, your talks, uh, the one at, uh, that I heard, in Athens earlier this year where you're so heavily based on videos and she, by the videos you had of like Djokovic back in how many years ago you worked with him so you've been using video a long time so how important is video to you I know it is important but maybe talk us through how you use video uh, uh, okay video is very very important uh, uh, for uh, in, for three moment uh, First, uh, uh, to see how, was, uh, how uh, the player doing, how, uh, because uh, I'm watching uh, a lot of the technique, I use it for technique. So I want to see the movement of the player. Second uh, is to explain to, uh, to, the, uh, to the player what uh, is doing and what uh, he needs to be focused. And uh, third, uh, okay, to, to explain the coaches. If I give, uh, uh, so for me, the first, uh, the first point uh, is very important for me for 70%. Then 20% uh, uh, is uh, for the player. And 10% uh, is uh, for making market. Marketing, yeah. you know, uh, like uh, in Tatoi, uh, okay, I had the video and uh, I using for explain the method. But um, uh, okay, uh, I coming back. Uh, if I see something, then I need to go to the player. When I need to go the, to the player, I need to have my mind that. Uh, I don't want to change something. I want to put order. I need to explain to the player in which way is the correct order 
to eat correct the ball. Because if you eat correct the ball, you can uh, impone your game. Okay? That is uh, my approach. That's why. And uh, again, uh, that the, this two part uh, is very, very important for me because uh, we, I need to have a knowledge what to tell the player. Because uh, if I, uh, many times uh, I saw some video or some people are very anal analytic, analytic uh, uh, coach, and that is not good for me because they're using the, the video. Uh, video is important for me to understand the, the player. Video is important for me for put order to the player, but not to change the player, the shot the player. I know that uh, maybe it's difficult to understand that, that two concept, but uh, you need to have experience uh, to working with the video. Uh, because instead of you confuse the player uh, or, uh, the, or, the, or uh, the, I don't know, the, the amateur that they're uh, using that. Yeah, I don't, um, yeah they I'm, all do, a lot, a lot do, uh, especially with all the new apps now. It's actually, it's probably harder to explain it. If you see the video and you go through, it actually makes a lot more, you know, it's easier for you to break down. So that's what we're missing here today is one of your videos like uh, the, the one I'm thinking of is the left hand one. I'm not sure who it was at Sharpova and where they hold the racket in the left hand so they can move their body quicker, move their shoulders quicker. Was that one of them? Yeah, yeah. But um, especially uh, when I wa uh, when I watch in the video, the first thing that I watch in the player is uh, in which way they moving the racket. If the racket uh, is moving correct, uh, after that, uh, I'm watching in, in, in which way they move in the feet. Then, uh, after that, if everything is going well, I'm watching in which way they move into the ball, uh, they, the movement they do in the court. And after that, okay, I'm watching some uh, matches and uh, I'm watching the direction they doing in a match. Because, and in, especially in important point, uh, what they do, uh, I don't know, uh, mm. is uh, uh, 30 40 they serving volley, or uh, I don't know, 30 40 they making drop shot, uh, that is wrong choice. It's not about choice, um, it, it's not about uh, shot. But the three step uh, before was about the shot. And after that, uh, I analyze uh, the matches. Uh, and then uh, it's different part. But uh, especially for uh, young kids uh, and for amateur, it's very, very important the first three, four, three steps. Uh, okay. Analyze uh, the, the shot. Analyze first the racket, second uh, uh, the movement of the feet, and third the movement uh, in, the, in the court. Okay, Thank so you. video is a huge part of the Piatti model. But be before we just talk about the Piatti model a bit more, why did you call the center and not an academy? Center, uh, academy is something big. Academy for me. Center is, uh, center is mean uh, something small that everybody can come, for my, my opinion. I like more center, the word center than academy. Center is... Uh, is a center for everybody. I I think, in, yeah, and no. maybe I I thinking about uh, uh, Italian world, uh, Piatti Tennis cent Centro, and yeah. then um, and then. But uh, uh, always I think in a small thing and uh, like a house. I, I invite the pe and the people that they want to stay there. They need to be enjoy. It's like a, a little bit like a family, no. Uh, that they coming, uh, they are not many number, and they also the coach okay are uh, quite good, uh, quite a lot. But they, I told you the model is working all together, and uh, it's coming good atmosphere, and they are uh, quite family. Of course, like every family, people coming and then also people people leaving, like player and the coaches. So it's quite normal, no? Uh, thinking yeah. about um, 
if you have a son, okay, you have a son but, or daughter, quite small, but when they have 20, 22, they, they need to leave to take, uh, of, because I, uh, I coach him to be open mind, not they need to stay with me for all the life. Uh, and like a coach, like, like a coach is the same. They can come, they can stay, we working together, and then they're leaving. It's not a big deal for me. It's life, really, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. life. And it, um, is that something where, let's say, Yannick, he got to a stage, you had him open-minded, he was ready to just move on? Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, I think he made the right uh, decision. Uh, and then now he's... Uh, uh, he can build uh, his um, career. Uh, and it was good time, uh, and then now is uh, a different part of his life. Mm. And and going back to him, sorry, as a kid, and it's you you came across him when you saw him. How old was he first? When I saw him, uh, yes. No, he came again. Uh, him uh, uh, if. One friend of mine asked me if there is this kids uh, you need to watch in him. I say no, I have no time. Uh, it was I had no center, no. And then uh, again they come. Uh, you need to see because this guy is good, uh, but um, he's playing three times in a week. But we have I have no time. I am working more busy with uh, Raon, which I, I think Raon was in that time. So one day uh, arrive him. And I saw him, and uh, he was playing three times in a week, and uh, I see it immediately. And uh, the problem that the problem, I saw already this guy a year before in one tournament uh, uh, when he was 12 years old. But uh, uh, I watching uh, five game. I didn't know the name, his name, but I immediately also when he was 12 years old was playing uh, the way that I like. So the play uh, is uh, to build the point, to try to win the points. Then uh, I remember, and then uh, after half an hour, I told uh, of this guy, okay, I want to adapt this guy because I think he's, he's very good. And it starts immediately that I had. Uh, and then, uh, of course, uh, that it was a feeling that I had. But the second part, uh, to understand, uh, is not uh, just Yannick, uh, but I have uh, a lot of uh, good players, like yeah. uh, you see uh, Tyson or uh, yeah. Tyra Grant, uh, Ela Milic, uh, I have uh, uh, Luca Carbon, um, Carboni, uh, and then uh, I have um, Lorenzo Carboni, and then I have Manas, Damne, uh, are very good, and many I have. Uh, you, immediately I saw that there is something good. But after that, I'm very curious. I want to understand why they play tennis, the motivation, and uh, if uh, they they can um, uh, go in frustration. And uh, I like when they losing, especially when they are young. I want to see the reaction. If the reaction is uh, positive, I uh, I have a good feeling with that because. Uh, I think uh, for them, uh, especially when they are kids, uh, they need to understand that is a game. It's not, uh, you know, in, especially in that moment of life for everybody, yeah. that uh, virus uh, world. In the end, they go in a court and they play tennis and need to be enjoyed. They losing, okay, coming back, start to play again, be enjoy again. And the seat is. Uh, I remember was when I was kids, uh, and uh, I don't know. I was with the grandmother house, uh, and uh, many kids they play soccer all together. They losing. Okay, come on, we play another one. It's the, it, tennis is the same, especially in that age uh, when are very young is a game. And if it, if I saw something, uh, parents, agent, uh, I don't know, uh, coaches. Mm. Uh, or uh, they they don't like to be in frustration. For me, it's very difficult. They becoming very good player because oh. um, the top player is in frustration. Uh, thinking about uh, now, um, I'm sorry for him uh, and Nola Novak Djokovic. Uh, he cannot play U.S. Open. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, I I read uh, now because uh, it cannot go in a state. And for him, is unbelievable frustration. And he's number one in the world, one of the best players in the world. And uh, of course, uh, what he's doing is stop to play. No, he keep going, he keep going. And uh, he's fighting again for uh, to be enjoyed in a court. And uh, of course, uh, they, they like to win. But in the end, they like uh, to compete. They like to play tennis. That is very important uh, for me to watch in, uh, to know this guy uh, when they are uh, young. Because yeah. uh, I can understand immediately they play, can play tennis or not good. But uh, to have this kind of mentality is not so easy, especially in this moment. Because, uh, because uh, all these guys, especially the young, they want everything immediately. And, um, you know, when uh, then it's quite difficult. During the pandemic, I saw a lot of matches. Uh, and uh, with my player, uh, especially the final. But uh, I, uh, now there is, um, I would say, the high life. And then you see the good points. Me, I take uh, the bad point, the bad moment. And I explain to them and I show to them the uh, bad moment. You know, uh, if you remember, uh, okay, what happened uh, Nadal against Cioric, uh, okay, last week. Last week, uh, Nadal lost uh, to Cioric and was serving 8-7. Uh, Do you remember what he did? No, I don't. He made double foot. So, and and he lost the tiebreaker in this way. And uh, I got to explain to them, if in Nadal he won 22 slam in a tiebreaker and in a set point, you can make double foot too. But uh, for me, uh, uh, when I go in a match, uh, I got to explain that the shots are not important because we work in a lot in the other part. It's more important the choice that you need to do. And, uh, forget about the, uh, the shot, Look, uh, focus about the choice in which way you need to play. That one. So, and go, I coming back about, uh, uh, I, uh, I explain to them a lot of uh, uh, bad moments that that kind of player has or have. So uh, that is normal, they, but uh, they, they stay in frustration and then they go in and they try to win important moment and to play correct in important moment. Uh, okay, this is one uh, approach that I have for them. And interesting. And maybe tell us more so about the Piatti, your model. That obviously it's it's heavily reliant on video, but I know there's so much more. Like don't, uh, don't be confused. Uh, method or model? Oh, sorry. Method, method, method. is Thanks. what I teach to the player. Yes. Thanks model for that is uh, what I teach to the coach, to the physio, and uh, to the to working together. Method is um, you know uh, about method. Uh, I'm very focused about uh, uh, first think about in which way they move in the racket. If uh, uh, the hand you need to stay down and the racket you need to stay up. Okay, and then first think uh, they need to turn the shoulder. In which way I watch, I see if they turn the shoulder. If they uh, they show the face of the racket to the opponent. Everybody they doing the same. And then they, sh they turn the shoulder. The two hands, they need to stay down when the shoulder turn the shoulder, stay down to the two shoulder. Okay? Yeah. They need to stay. And then uh, arrive in uh, um, uh, racket right back, and then start the movement to hit the ball. The left arm, the left arm, give me the distance to the ball. If I yeah. turn immediately with left arm, it's normal that I have the ball close to me. If I wait, uh, the, when I hit the ball, the two arms, they need to stay parallel. And then, of course, they're they moving. 
and then uh, the follow through you need to go up uh, for, uh, foreign and back it's quite easy to explain this but then we start the second uh, complicated thing then uh, me and you are different so the technique you can see is the same quite the same but to to explain to you or to me in which way is we need to find the correct uh, um, method, the correct approach, and then uh, start the problem. Maybe if you're thinking, I don't know, uh, Thomas Berdich is bring back the racket with, uh, I think, uh, left, uh, right hand. Roger Federer is turn the, the shoulder uh, turn the shoulder, and then in which way you see that uh, the hand uh, when turn the shoulder or Berdich is far from the body uh, to Roger is close to the body, and then it turn. So that is a uh, two uh, important player. But uh, in which way you turn the shoulder, or in which way I turn the shoulder, that is very interesting for the coach to understand. And then start there to uh, the problem for the coach. If mm -hmm. you are too much analysis, analytic, and then you use not in correct, correct way the video, uh, you will not uh, give a poss possibility to the player to, to hit the ball quite easy. You can see many players or some amateur are, um, you know, uh, they think in, uh, they think in too much. When you think in too much, uh, it's not uh, quite good. You need to be extinct, uh, a lot of instinct. And, and uh, that's why I tell um, uh, to my coach, we need to have, I need to have a method and order oh. to explain to you to be tough. And if you are tough, you improve. Okay. You know. So so you teach all your coaches order to the shots. They order method to... order yes order to the shot and then but order uh, you need to think in that everybody are different. Yeah. Don't give the approach that this is a way that Piatti said and so we do. No no that's the start the trouble. That was the trouble that I had when I had the 20 years old. So I start and say, okay, ten is easy. You need to hit the ball and put over the net. Yeah, but everybody is different. And so in which way I need to explain to you, to me, what I want to. Okay. Then I find one technique for everybody, but the problem comes again because everybody is different. Uh, Rafa is playing in different way to Roger, uh, um, and to Djokovic, but they moving the racket quite similar and are completely different. And then uh, that is it. And then uh, if one coach is curious, he, ca he can become a very good coach. If he is, uh, okay, they told me like this uh, and I do like this, mm, it's not working. Yeah, That's no. why uh, uh, I like to to speak with everybody because I want to see if you are curious and then you try and then you give me something back. Listen, I saw this one and I tried like this. Okay, yeah, good. You, you nearly and, want, you want coaches to help you improve it nearly. Yeah, no, but uh, again, um, I, I'm quite, um, if I see something, if I have uh, this kind of approach, I'm improving myself. And uh, but uh, the other work, I'm not yeah. working, but uh, I explain, uh, and and then I see in which way, and then I see, okay, this is bright, you know, and uh, there are, uh, and uh, and it, in this way, and then uh, is, if I have a so big experience, uh, it's going more easy when I have uh, the pro, yeah, because the pro, they need to not complicate the life. You need to be simplify the life. 
And uh, if you not have order, you complicate the life uh, and they have no success. You need to, okay. Uh, they have great potential because they know, you see that they have a feeling uh, with the ball. But uh, you need to simplify, not complicate their life. For me, uh, one very important uh, uh, mm, I heard, I think from uh, Tony Nadal or uh, the Spanish guy, I heard from Spanish guy, they have plane A and then the plane B. What is the difference? Plane B is uh, to do better the plane A. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then is my approach is the same. If I know well the plane A, okay, if he's not working plane A, do better the plane A, and that is mean play B. Nice. All right? Uh, yeah. And how many coaches are out there that have worked under you with your model around the world? I have no idea. I have no idea, no. And I, uh, I know the people working. Uh, uh, I, I like uh, that, uh, okay, when we working together, uh, we think together. But I like also when they leave it to me, they doing something different. I don't want, they not need to reply me. They need to do what they feel, they have uh, the feeling that they have. It's not working to make a copy. Yeah. I don't, uh, I prefer that, uh, you know, they add that guy and then they make something different. I don't know. But you, you, I, you give them the building blocks and then. Yeah. yeah. They, but me also, I progress every year. I changing every year. I don't. Uh, I'm not coaching like this when I had uh, karate full and more. I, I not. I changed when I was uh, uh, Ljubicic. I changed when I had uh, Raonic. And now uh, with uh, Sinner was different. I change always, uh, especially with the player. You need to change. Me. And tell me if a new, let's say, a junior wants to come train at your academy. What do you look for in a junior that would like to base themselves at your sorry uh, center? Come, sorry, not academy center. Center, no problem. No, no, uh, uh, no. First, uh, why they uh, what what the goal they need to have? Why they play tennis? Uh, and then, and second, uh, with I watching uh, in which way they eat the ball. I, I tell you, in which way they. Uh, be moving. I, I try to put order, and especially when they are young, they need to, to know they need to have time, 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 because uh, everything is not happen uh, in one week, ten days, three weeks. They need uh, they happen uh, in, um, in two, years. three years. Uh, one easy question for you: Yes, how many top? 100 under 20 are now in a ranking under 20 under 20 maybe i know there's two maybe three max who is the third one who is emma rusaveri under 20 no no who's the so holger rune we have alcaraz and number three musetti no, no. he's older R2. The only two. R2. The third okay. one, I think, is Stricker, uh, is a Swiss guy. Yes, yeah, Stricker, Dominic Stricker. Stricker. So, uh, young player, they need to know okay, what is the first goal? A top 100. When? When uh, someone comes to me and say, when I am 18 years old. All right. So, you are mm. like uh, Alcaraz. Good. <laughs> I find another Alcaraz. Good. You are good. You are very. You're thinking that I say no, no, no. Uh, okay, okay. When? And uh, especially also, I'm doing the same uh, question to the coach. I come in. What do you think? So make it for me. First step to becoming pro, we need to be hundred. You know, when you are under fifty, hundred twenty, hundred, you are uh, out to the slam. And for me, if you are on the slam, uh, you are top. Uh, you are pro. Okay, I'm very restricted. I'm very uh, one uh, good uh, 
bad part of me, uh, I'm very strict. Very straight. I, yes. Like a lot of Italians, though. You know, no, it's, no, no, I don't know. But I'm very, you know, is is this? Yeah. Cannot, uh, you know, find a way. I'm. I like uh, to be to tell the truth, and then uh, immediately and to be restricted. If you want to go there, you need to do it like this. If you want to do it your way, is not uh, my center, your home. So no time wasting. No, I don't want to lose my time. I don't want to yeah, I don't want to say the bad word, but I know what it is. No, uh, I don't want to uh, lose my time. So, uh, uh, if the goal is uh, to become in pro, you need to be top 100. To be top 100 minimum is not too easy uh, when you are, are under 20. So, if you are 17 years old, for becoming uh, like Alcaraz and Rune, you have three years, but three years uh, are long to work every day, uh, to eat correct, to have motivations, to stay in frustration, to lose a lot of time. And so many, many of them, uh, I have, okay, um, I have an Italian player like Sonego, was, um, when he had uh, 20 years old, it was uh, 404. And becoming a uh, Top 123 is uh, 23 years old. So, if you have a 17 years old to becoming top, uh, Sonego is a very good player. To, to becoming top 100 is mean six years. You have a time to, and you want to be uh, serious and becoming pro, okay, you need to spend six years. It's long. Yeah. Maybe they start when they have 10 years old, and in seven years, they think, okay, now I'm coming pro. No, 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 no. It's a long way. It's a long way. And, be, and me, I try to be realistic with everybody. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. And tell me, when a player leaves the academy after spending a number, or the center, sorry, after spending a number of years with you, like what qualities? They may not make it as a professional tennis player, let's say, but what qualities do you teach them at the center that you are happy that they're leaving the center with? No, because uh, in the center, you know, you know um, they're leaving uh, for many reasons. Because uh, sometimes I'm not clear. Oh, no, about sorry, this. I, I, don't, I don't mean why they leave. I know everybody just leaves at a certain time, but. What are you? What makes you happy that they've left the center with from not no, court, if from they, they continue, and... I'm very happy if they continue to love the game. Uh, all the coaches or, or all the player, they continue love are interesting about the, the the game. If they stop to play because they're leaving from the center, I'm depressed. Okay. You know? Yeah, but I'm, sometimes you move on. Like there's tennis coach. Coaches have taught many players other things off court, important things, life lessons. Mm -hmm. So I know you describe the center as a fam. It's a family there. Anybody's yeah. welcome. So obviously you teach your players some core life values because they're quite young when yeah, they're at the yeah. center. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, you know, uh, I I teach uh, that uh, I don't know in English. Uh, you are uh, uh, rigore. Uh, I know I know Italian, but I don't know what rigore is. Sorry. Rigore is the, not discipline. You are quite restrict. Okay. You are, and I was teaching. You know, you not need to. Uh, you need to be restrict because you have something inside. And in Italy, we call we need to have rigore for uh, to have success. Success. And then uh, you need to uh, to live in frustration. Because yesterday you play well, and today maybe no. So, but you need to find a way to go out. And the same thing happen when you have 35 years old, you stop. If you want to become, a, I don't know, good doctor, a good businessman, you need to have rigor and you need to, be, you need to stay in frustration. Tennis is part of the life. It's not, uh, uh, especially when they are younger, 
we need to educate them that is a part of the life. Some of them becoming good, but some of them they're not coming good. And uh, if we have uh, that, that kind of approach, uh, it is better for them for all the part of the life. And especially, I want that uh, uh, so, uh, if you're not coming good, uh, and uh, but uh, you you pass the frustration. Of course, you you becoming good in the other second part of your life, yeah. because uh, you know in which way to approach the situation. Uh, that is, uh, of course, uh, I try educated them about that. But, uh, you, and uh, it's quite uh, is another part uh, quite interesting, that because is. in the end, uh, tennis is mental. Uh, you need to have a mental approach correct. You, ne you need to have a uh, correct education. One of the best about that, uh, sure, uh, was is uh, Tony Nadal, that explained uh, quite well uh, the life uh, to Rafa. And uh, the results uh, uh, are uh, quite, uh, quite uh, you, we can see, we can see. Yeah. He educated him uh, quite very well, especially in a bad situation. Because bad situation is more important. That's why I don't put a lot of attention in the result, but I put attention the way they going out to the result or to the bad result. If uh, they losing uh, with match point, and after that uh, they want one day off, then uh, I don't know. I'm going frustration for three days because serving was bad. So we're losing already three days. Normally, mm -hmm. uh, when I'm junior, uh, my player, uh, I would like also when I'm a pro, they finish the match and they go in a court to practice again. And it's very good, uh, this system, when they're winning because uh, they are open. And they immediately, okay, because before the press, go in a court and practice. Uh, I, and then immediately talk. I was a serve. I know it's not good. Okay, yeah, put attention to that. And then immediately they they improving. Uh, the foreign, uh, yeah, foreign was great. Uh, I did very well that. Okay, repeat. Show me. And then is, boom. Is it is it easier to get them on the court after after they've yeah, won or after they've lost? Or if the good uh, player, it doesn't matter. No, uh, with good player, it's very easy to find. You know, finish and then you go. Uh, yeah, the other, you know, and uh, but uh, I like, especially when uh, they winning, but also when they losing. When are young, when are young, when they losing, we go immediately. Interesting. Now, just a couple more questions, Ricardo. One yeah. is, a lot of our listeners here are parents and young players, and parents always email in asking for advice for players and what do you think is imp important for junior players let's say top in their country uh, 13 14 to focus on uh, that uh, i told you that are uh, enjoy mm. they um, curious about uh, to improvement and uh, and uh, of course uh, don't be be realistic be realistic uh, they need uh, in that age, uh, it's very difficult uh, to win a lot and to play good. No. But uh, I prefer they play well, they losing, but we keep going. And, and what? No, sorry, keep going. No, and then uh, I like uh, when they winning to put uh, in difficult situation. So if they are good uh, when they are 14, I like to put uh, when they are 18. When I'm good uh, 18, I prefer to go in the future on the quality. Put in bad situation. In bad situation and they see uh, in, in the reaction. Test them, test them. Yeah, yeah. And, and do, you prefer, do you prefer being in the box at a Grand Slam or at an under 12, IM, or an under 12 tournament? No, I like, I, I like to be in a court. Uh, to build something. I'm not a typical coach that, uh, uh, okay, uh, the best period that I had uh, is when uh, sometime I was uh, with another coach, you know, 
because I like uh, to stay in a court, build, uh, explain, uh, and then uh, the other coach uh, need to go on a slam uh, to explain maybe uh, the situation on that game during the slam are different. You know, emotion, uh, many of them, uh, they prefer to have a player that already played that kind of situation. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm on, I, in this period of my life, I don't, I don't, I don't care. I know. I know, and then I was already, you know, in semi-final of this kind of the slam. I know in which way control, but if a player prefer, you know, someone that they already leave, okay, no problem. But me, I prefer to stay in a court. Yeah, any court, any court. Uh, yeah. And who's going to win the US Open, male and females? What's your prediction based on Ooh. your... It, it's a tough one to call this year. It's, it's, it's very open. It's very open. Uh, should be Medvedev in the man side, but uh, it's quite open. Uh, you see, Cincy, Cioric, uh, Carino Busta. Uh, I would like that uh, one Italian is going to win because right. uh, I yeah. think Italian, Italian, we need now one. And uh, yeah, thinking like this about uh, girls. Uh, Tough to know. Will we see your player Costa Marta or Marta do well? Uh, uh, Marta, yeah. Uh, we're working quite a lot with girl now. Marta, Thousand also was uh, with, you know, and uh, we help a little bit and then uh, uh, Surenko. But Marta, can, uh, I was uh, waiting for Marta. Uh, one uh, Semi final in uh, or Roland Garros or uh, Rome or Madrid. And now, uh, me uh, this year I was expecting one big semi. Yeah. And uh, he has a possibility, especially she has a possibility. And then the level is very open. If you True. have a good draw, you can make a semi final uh, there. But we see. Uh, we we uh, we're looking. Uh, we are uh, very interesting also to see who's going to win. True. Yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, Ricardo, thank you very much for your time. Enjoy yeah. the rest of your time in Como. Yeah. And uh, thank ho you. hopefully, as I said, one day I will surprise you at the academy. Uh, I look forward to it uh, at the center. I keep saying it. Or at the uh, uh, yeah, or maybe I come in uh, in Lovely. London uh, quite. Uh, Dublin, soon. Dublin. Uh, no, I'm in Dublin, not in London. And okay, organize uh, there. I come in Dublin. Yeah, we okay. get a bit of Guinness going. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, grazie mille. Ciao, ciao grazie. Ciao, ciao, ciao. 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 ciao.